renowned cleric Reverend Uma Okpai has said those agitating for actualization of Biafra are mad people. Speaking to reporters in New York headquarters of his ministry, the Abia born cleric condemned agitators for Biafra by the movement for the actualization of sovereign states of Biafra, Masop, and the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo. He maintained anyone agitating for Biafra only confirms the level of his or her madness, adding, however, that everybody is mad, the difference only being in the level of madness. There will always be crazy people even when people are seen to be normal. Whoever is agitating for Biafra shows the level of his madness, but everybody is mad, the difference is the level of your madness, he said. The cleric who assessed Nigeria at 60 said he is disappointed that there are still divisive elements holding the country apart. According to him, until Nigerians begin to love and respect, uh, respect one another, it will not make any meaningful progress. In Nigeria, we are all in a hurry to reach where we are going to, so much so that we have no regard for others, no time for others, and no love for others. As a nation, until we love one another, we cannot notice one another. Only when we love that which we have, that we can develop. But in Nigeria, we don't care whether others eat or not. If we have no respect for one another, it also means we don't care whether others exist or not, the cleric lamented. Reacting to Clamor for restructuring by General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, and the controversies is generated. Okpai said, I don't think that he, Adibuye, is not, is not entitled to his opinion. He's a man of God and he must have seen what happened during the Civil War, which would give, which would guide him in the deductions he made. But to me, everybody is entitled to his opinion. Okay. Why would you say that uh, they are mad people? They don't know what they are talking about. <clears throat> well, like he said, he's entitled to his opinion. Because what you said now, some people will sit him and call you unprintable names. Just like you think what you are saying is right. And to those who are thinking the way they are thinking, they are right in their own opinion. They have reasons. Have you sat down with them to be able to know what is, what the, you know, the, the in-depth of their reasoning or what they are even talking about? If you both sit on the round table, you have your opinion, they have their opinions. And at the end of the day, the most important thing, if everybody is, um, if everybody um, um, is, everybody has a, an open mind, yes, that is just the right word. If everybody has an open mind, you'll be able to understand where one, somebody is coming from. Because what you think that they are thinking might not be what, what it is. They might be thinking something from a different angle, but you are looking at it. Maybe, oh, you know that this is the reason why they are thinking like this, or this is the reason why they are doing things like that. You don't even know. And maybe by the time they see things with you too, you will have a better thing to tell them. But you coming out to make a categorical statement, you can't just say that because you don't know where they are coming from. You don't even know the angle at which they are drawing their conclusion that, yes, you are still agitating for what is happening. You know, the question is that, you how can you love somebody? When you are in an, uh, an environment that you are not loved, there's nothing like love. You know, with all the things happening in the country, how many of you have, have spoken? You know, everything is not spiritual. That is just it. If God himself could recognize could recognize government itself, that means he has given us free will to be able to do a lot of things. We, it, it, God did not say, oh, it, is, it has to be somebody who is a Christian or a Muslim or whatever, or practicing any religion that must be the president or that must be the, the leader of a country. Of any society, the most important, at least the first thing is that you know, having, having that respect for moral code that is what is more important. So, coming out to say people are this, uh, it's, it's really unfortunate. That statement is really, really unfortunate. We know when it comes to Adebu, he now said, Oh, he's entitled to his opinion. Why don't you think that these people are entitled to their opinion? Even with the restructuring you are talking about, or whatever you are talking about, the government does not even, is not even working towards that with a. Uh, Obtaining or getting through to that's a one Nigeria good governance. Those who are still agitating for good governance, people will still talk down on them. Those who are uh, agitating for a uh, breakup, people will talk down on them. Those who are talking about restructuring, people will still talk down on them. So, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? So, making that categorical statement, in my opinion, does not really hold water. It's not supposed to be coming from somebody who you don't even know where somebody is coming from, even if you think that you are you are older than some people. <laughs> 
And just like they always say in in, in Ife, in Ile Ife, you know, what makes Ife to be what it is, it is the wisdom of the younger ones and the wisdom of the elders, you know, bringing it together, meaning that nobody is island of everything. What you know, what the other person knows, bring it together, give, give, give other people chance to be able to bring what they know. Don't think, oh, I'm the one who, I know it all. Who are these people? And that is why we are not moving forward. Because these people, they know what they are talking about. You might know what you are talking about. So coming out to just make a blank statement, oh, yes, they are this, they are that, you know. To me, it's not really, it's not it. Well, I beg to disagree, sir. There can be fire without a cause. What is the cause of the rising agitation for Biafra? That should be addressed that should be addressed when that is done and very effort expended and the agitation continues then we can begin to rebuke the agitators the federal government maintaining a vote of faith and unwilling to dialogue with them has not kept the agitation has only kept the agitation on you called yourself a, you know a cleric who wants to be social media relevant the true pastors are saying the truth you are claiming cleric keep mute. Well, one proof that every tribe has indigenous whose reasoning might not enjoy popular support. I am surprised that this cleric has not been tagged a traitor by Biafra agitators, or is it the tag is, is the tag reserved solely for Yorubas? <laughs> I truly doubt this report. I respect I respect Doctor. Uh, Omar Ipai so profoundly, but this is truly what he said. If it's what he said, I will say it's not fair. You cannot bear beat a child and expect him not to cry. I show he shows a detached from the harsh realities uh, that people are going through. Hmm. Post of his people, he needs to descend from his exalted height. Fathers like him can't afford to be quiet when their house is uh, is burning. Pastor Deboe has started speaking now, and everywhere is quacking, quaking. That is why we have we have great prophets like them. They must be prices to pay for times like this. Well, all Bia France are Jesus are mad and crazy people like they are okay. This one is talking about a, a Namdekano. So Bia France are not allowed to their opinion. So disappointing. <laughs> and that's just it. They are, everyone is entitled to their opinion. So if you don't agree with their opinion, you know, good. But if they don't agree with your opinion, good is your opinion. Your opinion is your opinion. This is how they expose themselves. We have added your name too. Okay. Well, um, someone is saying that, uh, please, Biafra, let's know what is happening. Let's know whether he said it or not. Of course, uh, since this has gone, has gone so it has, it has gone viral. Definitely, if he never said it, then he will come out and debunk it. And that's just what I believe so guys let's hear your opinion on this and let us know your thoughts